<laughs> um, well, I've been kind of doing home things. Um, I've kind of been looking after my child, who is now five. So for that period of time, I've been doing school runs. I've been doing little projects here and there for different television shows. And, and I've just been enjoying kind of getting all that time back actually at home. So it's been quite a good five years. Me? Uh, making music, getting married, giving birth. <laughs> Making music, splitting up, not giving birth. <laughs> Same as Chesney. Oh, and I also made music as well for that. <laughs>
Hopefully we'll do future albums there as well. <laughs> I think Chasma, maybe when she has her next child, she'll be able to punch out another million more songs. <laughs> Chasma works really good under, lo with loads of things. She has to do lots of things at once. <laughs> so, but it, was a quite, it wasn't a long process at all. It was really quick. Mm -hmm. And it was a quicker long time than we, making. Yeah, and quicker than we've ever made an album b before either. Fresh. 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 Juicy. Um, I think it's kind of like a bit of a mixture of all the things we've been listening to over the last five years. Um, you know, I think when you get our four voices together, it's always going to have that all sync sound. Um, we're always going to be a very cool pop band, but I think this time around we've kind of added elements of music that we didn't actually, we'd never sort of done before. Mm, a bit of ska, a bit of, you know, 60s feel, and really enjoyed it. And I, I you know, if, if it's a sound that we kind of, you know, continue on the next time we do an album, I reckon whatever we do, whatever we do draw from, from, you know, music that we listen to, I think we'll do it even more. Mm. We'll make it even stronger, but <clears> really, just had a really good time sort of exploring those avenues. Um, we worked with uh, KG, who's always going to work with us. He's kind of like, he's, you know... Stuck to us. Yeah, he's a part of the makeup. <laughs> um, Greg Kirsten, who we'd never worked with before, so it's nice to work with him. And um, Rick Knowles, who'd never done an All Saints record before. So, uh, yeah, those three were the main sort of contenders in the album. We did about 50 tracks. And we had to choose loved 12. Them all. Mm. And we, we loved them all. Choose. So we had to kind of... At one point, we kind of had two CDs like, with about 30 tracks on, and we had to whittle them down to 12, and I managed to whittle it down to about 27. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that's very difficult. It was, so we had to yeah. let the record company choose, because it was just too much. It was a luxury that we never had before. Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to yeah. use, I mean, a lot of the tracks, which has been nice this time around, where usually when we've done albums before and we've released singles, we've kind of had to have a billion remixes of, of, the, of, the, of the single. But now we, um, we've kind of, a lot of the tracks which we did record, we're using them as B-sides and extra tracks and, you know, extra tracks on our website. And so we just want to really make sure that everything gets heard as much as possible. Kind of straightforward. Studio really. One is where we did it all. Yeah, no, <laughs> a lot of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, and things happened, and we ate loads of food there. <laughs> <laughs> we love it there. Great room. I don't think we've kind yeah. of thought of it as, as having a, to compete with somebody right now. I think we're, we're just happy to bubble. be here and happy mm. to be doing this, and and just excited that we've actually we didn't think when. But we'd be here actually talking about an album because when we got the deal, we didn't know how it was gonna if it was gonna be done in time. If, if I mean, and it's all just happened and worked out really well. As far as thinking about our competitors, I don't think we're in our own little bubble, aren't we? We're so busy bothered about ourselves that we kind of compete with each other. It's kind of it, really. <laughs> Well, no, well, really, no, I mean, we've been hanging out as friends for, for a while, and, and that was all good fun, and I went for a meeting um, at EMI with Jamie Nelson over at Parlophone, and he, we, it, this was purely about uh, writing for other artists on, his la on the label, so while I was in that meeting, he asked me what I was up to and what the girls had been up to, and just kind of talking about that, and then he just kind of said, look, you know, I think you guys are great, I think musically, you know, you... You, you never died, and if you guys ever want to um, work again, or you know, well, not work again, he said, if you guys ever want to sort of make another album, or whatever, the deal's there on the table. So that's kind of how that came about. And I <laughs> kind of left his office a little bit like, mm. oh, God, I've got to go. Because while we've been <laughs> hanging out, I'd never, we, no, none of us had ever mentioned yeah. anything about All Saints. There wasn't really, not space to, but we've been so busy kind of catching up just purely on each other's lives that that didn't really kind of come up. So I kind of left his office a little bit like, oh, God, right, I've got to now mention this to the girls. So it took me a couple of days, and during those couple of days, he kind of kept ringing me and saying, look, have you spoken to the girls yet? So in the end, I rang Nick and um, <laughs> took my time in ex trying to She sort of was get so beaten around the bush. She did not want to tell me because it was almost like...
Yeah, I dumbfounded was the first thing. I mean, just like, sure. <laughs> And then, literally, within a few hours, we'd all kind of phone each other and like, like very quickly discussed it. And by the end of the, like by the end of the evening, we we're like, okay, we're a band again. Oh, that was that. <laughs> I'm not saying so. <laughs> <laughs> it was so silly. <laughs>
Oh, I think it's just it's too far in the future to think about that right now. We're just, mm. just <laughs> that's we're too, uh, busy. we're <laughs> too busy enough trying to work out the routine to our single leg <laughs> on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've we've been wearing heels in this, and and now that we've come back, and oh. um, we well we did wear heels before, but on stage we always wore trainers, and it was a lot more easier, and a lot more comfortable. So we're just getting our head around wearing heels and doing routine. So Tricky. doing a whole tour, I don't know. We're doing a tour effort. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't like yes. to put a date on it really. So as long as we're having fun and, and people enjoy what we're doing, I think, you know, there's no reason to sort of put a finish line on it. The, well, the, the internet as far as um, new bands, perhaps that, that, that don't, wouldn't get a chance to, to get a deal or be shown, that's a good, uh, a good way of, of finding out about new music and stuff. So that would be a good, positive thing that's happened in the music industry recently. No. Oh, <laughs> Mel fell over the gate. <laughs> oh, yeah, I a bloody little green fence, like that big. <laughs> You know, Mel's injured for ages. Mel's that out the yeah. <laughs> Mel really fell badly over it. <laughs> the whole crew and everything. But since then, we've all had a fall. Yes, yeah. we've been yeah. falling in a lot recently. Fall yeah. saints. Except Nick, <laughs> she has one's coming. <laughs> We're gonna push yeah. you down the stairs. Live with us. Bastards. <laughs> um. Gosh, I hate being asked this question because. It, I have quite a few. Mm. Um, um, actually, can I say, I do, there's a, one of my favourite songs, it's not even on the album, that it might mm -hmm. be a special oh, one. <laughs> it's called Sexy. Mm -hmm. but it's not on, it's there. on the website. It's on the website, but it's, I love it. I happen to love it. And I was kind of had it on in my house just before I came, that's why I'm saying it. Um, so that's one of my favourites. Um, why, why is it? It's just, it's one of those ones that, it reminds me of the song that Pharrell did. What was this again? It's, um... You make you move. What's that? Yeah! And da da da. What's that? Huh! There go! There go! She loves I can see in her eyes. She hopes it lasts Yeah, she likes to move. She likes to move. It reminds me... It reminds me of that. And it just does it. It does something to me that makes me want to dance. And it's feel-good and upbeat kind of tempo. And... And I don't know, it's one of those, it makes you just want to dance. I like to dance. <laughs> uh, probably fundamen fundamental. Fun fun fundamental. <laughs> fundamental, and it's purely just because it's just about my son. That's it. I have to go with a song called Chick Fit. Because um, I just think it, it really en encompasses everything that we're about mm. now, especially. Mm. Mm. And, um, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Mm -hmm. Chick Fit. Mm. It's having it. Cool. It's the one. Brilliant. Oh, definitely. We always plan to come to Italy. Oh, yeah, the food. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just to food. eat again. Guys. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. to push us in the direction. Good and men. Good, good, good. That was one of the things, if I'm honest, I dreaded when, you know, we sort of spoke about forming the band again for the last five years I've lived quite a quite a quiet life and mm -hmm. I and I quite and I like it like that. So the attention which I know the brand All Saints brings mm -hmm. was a bit nerve wracking for me. I think in the big picture of things and you think about what's important in life, it really is nothing important. And when we when we were out of the limelight as strong as we we used to be, I used to read about other people and I'd think, oh God, why did we get so upset about it? It really doesn't mean anything, really. Because I, I would start seeing it happen with other people. And I didn't think much of it, and I, we used to get so upset about it, but really, mm. it, it, in perspective, it doesn't really matter. Mm.